All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and break this bad boy down. Just pull, I'm gonna pull out the action, just to show you how easy it is. Because this is another reason why I love this gun. It's just like the Smith. It breaks down a, a lot like an AR-15. So let's go ahead and show you guys how that goes here. So you got a push pin here, and you got a push pin here, just like uh, your standard AR-15. All right, so this back push pin here. Pop that bad boy right out. This comes out very easy. And when you pop it out, just be prepared because the gun's gonna come apart real easy. See that? Let's put it back on here. So you have your lower receiver, you have your upper receiver, all right? And your upper receiver, this is where you got all your action and everything. Everybody knows that already. On this, on this, on the SIG, all you're gonna do is pull back on your charging hand to handle. It stops. Once it stops, pull that charging handle right out. Get it out. There you go. So there's your charging handle. Okay, let's put that down. And then your action slides right out. All right. And it's, I haven't cleaned it since the last time I shot it, but there's your action. That's it. Nice. I like the fact that it's stainless steel. Very nice. It's a little dirty because I haven't cleaned it. But there you go. That's it. That's all it is. It's just the action. Um, you got your barrel chamber, everything up in there. Slide this bad boy right back in. If I can find this one, there we go. And then you got the side of the charging handle here has a notch into it. What you can do is you're gonna line that notch up with the with the opening right here on the outside of the receiver. Once it once it's there, take your charging handle. You got this little notch right there on your charging handle. Slide it right back in. If you get it in there, make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be. Let's see here. Oh, I think I'm doing something wrong. And that does tend to happen every once in a while. Let's see here. Uh oh, having technical issues. Made it look harder than it really is. It's not that hard. Pop that bad boy back in, and that's it. That's breakdown of the Sig 522 Commando. Now, if you break, if you pop this pin off and drop all the receiver and drop the bottom out, this rail will slide right off. So, very easy breakdown. Maintenance is not bad at all. It's very minimal maintenance. I mean, I mean. The, the gun is super reliable. You can shoot. I've shot the Remington Gold Bullets through this thing, and it's fed them like nothing. I've shot all the different kinds of Walmart, CCI mini mags. There isn't a, there isn't anything out there that I found that it doesn't like. Now I'm sure there may be some stuff out there, and I'm sure I may there may come a day where it does jam. But so far on two different Sigs, I haven't had any of them jam on me. Now I definitely say this is more reliable than the Smith and a Ruger 1022. My Smith hasn't jammed, but I have a friend who has one that his has jammed on him. So, you know, I've seen those ones jam in the field. These ones I haven't seen jam out there um, when we're out shooting them. So, so far, it's been the most reliable. And again, it's the smoothest shooting gun, that, and the trigger is very, very nice and pleasant uh, trigger pull on it. Um, getting a little recoil. It's got good weight to it. If you want, if you're looking for a nice, cool tactical 22, this is definitely going to fit that bill. It's not cheap, so if you if you don't want to spend 500 plus on one, then go check out the Ruger 1022 that I showed you guys. Um, if uh, you're looking for the most reliability though, and you say you're coming from a Ruger 1022 or another 22 that you just want a gun that's going to shoot every time, this gun I think is the most reliable 22 on the market. So if that's what you're looking for, this definitely is one to take a really really close look at but again if you get the slot version you got your rail system here you can add all your accessories you can have optic you know you got rail here again I'm running the mag pool flip ups with the Troy Industries battle rail covers I'll probably keep it like this for a while nice simple got your folding collapsing stock safety ambidextrous safety which is very nice this does screw off you got the barrel underneath so you know very very nice uh, tactical 22 again after uh, shooting it, I've already shot it 
you know, again, about 700 rounds to this bad boy. No jams whatsoever. So, again, it's a very, very reliable, uh, high-value gun. So check it out. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.